Hey everyone, welcome back. Dubai Mall's Dinosaur has finally been named while you can be a part of Dubai's upcoming smashing world record. Flyboarding is one of the coolest ways to beat the summer heat. Arabic lessons should be a high priority for Dubai school students and what is the latest addition to Dubai Police's already fantastic super fleet? Go with me Jessica on the roundabout. In episode 135, we talked about the exhibition in Dubai Mall that's taken 155 million years in the making. Well, after a competition that's been held on social media platforms with the hashtag NameTDMDino, and a few thousand entries later, the human friendly dinosaur has been named Dubai Dino by Saudi national Jahar al Bayan. Although several hundred entrants had suggested the name of her, a log of Twitter posts proved that she was the first to tweet it. First in, best dressed. If you haven't checked it out yet, visit the Grand Atrium of the Dubai Mall to see this 24 metre long, 6 metre high fossil. Dubai is quite notorious for its world records and not always for the tallest, biggest or most expensive list. So, here's another one which you might find interesting. If you've ever wanted to take up boxing or have heard of the champion British boxer David Hay, Perhaps you'd like to be part of an attempted Guinness World Record for charity and attend the world's largest boxing session. The record attempt will take place at the Dubai World Trade Center on the 21st of June and a donation of only 30 dirhams, all proceeds will go to a Dubai-based charity. Oh, and you'll also have 40 minutes of technical boxing and movement training, all part of a program to feature at his first high-profile luxury gym and health center soon to open in downtown Dubai. Can anyone hear TKO? That's it, there's no turning back now. Summer is here and people are feeling it. However, for those who've been in Dubai long enough, we all know there's always something to do here during the Inferno months. One of the latest crazes that's still catching a lot of attention is flyboarding. So what is it? Basically, a flyboard uses water pressure to launch the person into the air. So, essentially, they're pretty much flying with a jetpack on their back, of course. A great thing about flyboarding is you don't necessarily need massive muscles to get around, but you do need to practice your balance, and all this comes after a training session. So, why not check it out? You would hope that sending your child to the school in the UAE would mean that they would gain a stronger understanding of the Arabic language, right? Well, a recent finding by the Knowledge and Human Development Authority has shown that one of the main weaknesses in Dubai schools is their shortcomings in teaching Arabic, with almost three quarters of schools having shortcomings in Arabic as a first and additional language. The KHDA have found that this teaching and learning approaches were usually too repetitive and did not motivate or engage students. So, what could be done? Well, according to one of the best rated private schools in Dubai, creativity is key when teaching Arabic and to be proud of the language that this host country speaks. It's no secret that the Dubai police can boast one of the best collections of supercars in its super fleet. But what's the latest edition of the super fleet? It's actually a new super bike. The Can-Am Spider was officially revealed on Monday and it's said to be capable of being used for regular police work and, like most of the other supercars, in tourist and heritage areas. The main aim of this particular bike was allegedly to enhance the security presence in tourist areas of the city. You don't mess with the Dubai police, you just don't. <laughs> That's all we have for you in this episode of The Roundabout. Don't forget to like us, subscribe, share this video and follow us on Twitter at The Roundabout too. Here's your weather for the week. Have a lovely weekend.